Brothers and sisters, put your hands together for Apocalypse. from the death of apocalypse dogs of god's entertainment yes indeed so look i was reflecting this morning on goals and accomplishments and things of that nature and i was reflecting on a word called consistency and what I've learned, and what I'm learning, it took a while to learn, but in the process of learning, you know, so many things open up to you as you're learning, you know what I mean? So, to stay consistent, I heard, once heard a radio announcer say, persistence beats resistance. You know what I'm saying? So if you persist, sooner or later, you're going to get closer and closer to where you're going. So in terms of what we want to accomplish in life, you know what I'm saying? What I'm realizing is that I have to do something every day, you know, that's going to feed where I'm headed, heading. You know what I mean? Like, so if I know where I'm going, that's <laughs> that's one thing right there. <laughs> you gotta know where you're going. Of course, that's the eighth step, eighth step in my book. That's another thing that I'm gonna start talking about more because I'm about to take the whole promotion of this book to another level. And that's one of the reasons why we talk about this this morning. It's like every day, you know, every day. Do something to, to feed towards where you're going. <laughs> feed you to move you towards where you're going. You know what I'm saying? It's just like in uh, the lessons in Problem 13, you talk about the 26 letters in the language. And if you learn a letter per day, you know, how long would it take you? You know what I mean? So that's a suggestion that to set ourselves in that kind of motion to be on some kind of daily mission towards where we striving to go. You know what I'm saying? Ten letters in that same language. Ten numbers in that same language. You know what I'm saying? So, to fix our mind to do something daily. You know, the Lord's Prayer said, give us this day our daily bread. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, uh, it, you know, it reminds me like last year, probably around this time, I had gotten into this routine of working out, and it man it was feeling good. And the beauty of it, it, what I learned is, when you start to see results, when you do something long enough to see results, man. It start capturing you a different way, you know what I'm saying? Where the motivation increases. Oh wow, okay, I see this is actually working, you know? And it moves you to wanna do more and more and more and more. This is what I, I learned. And then, okay, then I had an accident. Boom, I fell and fractured five ribs. So I can't work out, you know what I'm saying? So, right when I'm at this peak in terms of, or it's already set, my mind is already set. Yeah, I'm gonna work out three to four times a week, four days a week. You know what I mean? And it's already, it's already set. I'm already in that mode. You know, boom, fracture five ribs. I can't do that no more for for a minute. You know what I'm saying? And so then on the other side of it, in the healing process, you know, we gradually, you know, I try to do some push-ups at, at a certain point. Nah. Can't do no push-ups now, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, then definitely can't do no sit-ups or crunches or whatever. So, but then, over time, okay, feeling a little better now. So now I gotta 
gradually get myself back into it. So now every morning after Faja, I'll do some push-ups. You know, just to get me back in the flow. You know, I got my little weights. I get up under my weights every now and then just to see where I am. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but just to creep back up into that daily flow of doing something. Doing something <laughs> daily to walk you and me down the road towards where we see in our hearts and minds that we're going, right? Hey, <laughs> that's our first day <laughs> for the Dust of Apocalypse. Give us this day, uh, <laughs> our daily bread. And in the meantime, enjoy your day. Peace. <laughs>